morning on this Friday, or maybe it's afternoon or evening. One of the things that's kept us going through the lockdown are books. If you came into our house, you would clearly see before you get very far that we love books. Reading, books, books, reading. A few years ago, Barbara and I went to a crime writers festival in Stirling. We went for a couple of years and uh, we met some people. Well, we didn't actually meet them. That's the point. We saw and heard Lee Childs, Val McDermott, Stuart McBride, Mark Billingham. And it was great. And we heard about their books and their writing and a little bit about their lives. But we never really got to know them. And for so many of the books in our house, that's exactly the case. Except for one. I knew this man very, very well. And he gave me a copy of his book. My dad wrote a book. I was amazed. I treasure it. It's not a subject maybe I would have uh, chosen to read about, a pastor in the Highlands. But he even got the Queen Mother to put in a quote at the beginning. <laughs> Go, Dad. This is a special book because it was written by my dad. I knew him. I talked with him. I lived with him. I ate with him. I could tell you as many, many good points. And I might tell you a few of his bad ones. In the Daily Devotions today, the passage comes from Second Peter chapter 1. And this is what Peter says. Remember, Peter spent three years with Jesus. For we were not making up clever stories when we told you about the powerful coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. We saw his majestic splendor with our own eyes when he received honor and glory from God the Father. The voice from the majestic glory of God said to him, This is my dearly loved son who brings me great joy. We ourselves heard that voice from heaven when we were with him on the holy mountain. Because of that experience, we have even greater confidence in the message proclaimed by the prophets. You must pay close attention to what they wrote, for their words are like a lamp shining in a dark place, until the day dawns and Christ the morning star shines in your hearts. Above all, you must realise that no prophecy in scripture ever came from the prophet's own understanding or from human initiative. No, those prophets were moved by the Holy Spirit and they spoke from God. Peter spoke firsthand. He knew that what Jesus had done and said were true because he saw, he heard. He remembered that time when there was a voice that said, this is my dearly loved son. And so he had great confidence in the message that he was standing up, speaking about, prepared to give his life for. When I was a child, there were two songs that have been coming to me this week. Old, old songs. Read your Bible, pray every day and you'll grow, grow, grow. And also another one that I am, um, years, years ago, it's got to be 50 plus years, 66 books in God's holy word. And that's how I learnt the order of the 66 books, used to sing through every one. And I could still do it, don't panic, I'm not going to do it now, but that has stayed with me. Does the message of the Bible mean that much to you? Do you treasure it? Do you want to share it? I really, really hope that the daily devotions that we provide as a church each day help you understand a bit more about the Bible and the message. And if not, why don't you start this journey? You'll find it on our website. You'll find it on our social media pages. And every morning there's a passage, something to think about, and a suggestion for prayer. At midday, there's also a suggestion for something to pray about. And in the evening, there's just a reminder of what the passage was. And if you have the opportunity to think about it again and to pray before your day ends. 
you know, if you read your Bible every day and pray, you'll grow, grow, grow as a child of God. The other thing that Peter reminds us is that in the Old Testament, and it really is so true for the Bible, because remember at this point, the New Testament wasn't put together when Peter was speaking. But, you know, no prophet in the Old Testament spoke of his own human initiative. It was God, the Holy Spirit, who was nudging them. And that's what God's word is all about. It's God speaking to us. And there are some times when the Holy Spirit is standing right behind us or beside us and he taps us on the shoulder or he nudges us and says, that's for you. And sometimes when we don't hear it and we don't take it in the first time, God will say it again, maybe in a different way, but maybe in the same way. And we go, oh, and the Holy Spirit will go, told you. This month, John, on a Sunday morning, has been taking us to think about walking with the Spirit and how the Spirit has an impact in our lives. That's been our theme for the daily devotions. That's why this passage came up today. And in July and August, we'll be going to the Psalms for some refreshing, for some encouraging, for some challenge. And I really, really hope that day by day, you'll read your Bible and grow, grow, grow. You're very welcome to borrow any of the books in our house. You can keep them. And if you borrow my dad's, I'd love it back. Let's pray together. Father God, we don't understand everything in the Bible, but we believe that you have inspired and it is your living word spoken through so many different human authors. But you have a message that for years you have been telling men and women, young people, boys and girls. And we thank you. And we thank you for the challenge today from the passage we've been thinking about. And we pray we might go back and consider it, but we might also take a fresh look at the way we feed on your word. Forgive us if we've neglected. Forgive us if we've only been weekly readers and you've been reminding us we should be daily feeders. And we ask you would help us to grow in our Christian lives. And for some of us, well, we've been challenged. We, we sense we aren't a Christian, we aren't a believer, but your word is beginning to say something to us. Give us the courage, Father God, to respond to you. Help us to take a step forward in faith, we ask. And when you speak to us, to respond. So for all those today who are finding you in your word help them for all those who are spreading the word today maybe speaking it or delivering it preparing it to send it to somewhere else lord bless them today for those who are preparing to speak your word on sunday at services in different ways however it's done now at the moment father god bless them we pray but again we thank you for your living written treasured word Oh, teach us more, we ask. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bless you. Happy reading. Have a good Friday and a meaningful weekend.